Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're going to talk about the Carnotaurus, a large theropod dinosaur dating from the late Cretaceous period, between about 72 and 69.9 million years ago. The Carno is a very distinctive dinosaur with some unique features. It has tiny arms which are proportionally shorter than in any other large carnivorous dinosaur, including T. rex. The fingers were fused together and probably lacked claws. It's possible that if the Carnotaurus did not go extinct, it would have lost these arms altogether. The name Carnotaurus means flesh-eating bull. It gets its name from the horns on top of its skull. The Carno is the only known carnivorous bipedal animal with a pair of horns on a frontal bone. It's possible that these were actually the bony cause of what would have been much longer keratinous horns in life. There have been several uses for these horns suggested. They could have been used for display, or for headbutting contests, or for killing prey. However, this would be the only reported example of horns being used as a hunting weapon in animals. There have been several interpretations of the Carno's feeding habits also. The skull of the Carno is very narrow and the lower jaw is very small. This means that it was not able to support the muscles required for a strong bite and so probably had quite a weak bite force. Usually this would indicate that the Carno was a scavenger. But studies have shown that the Carno had a very strong neck and it was capable of quick stabbing or slashing movements using its teeth of the upper jaw as a hatchet or a serrated club. Inflicting these kind of wounds would have weakened larger prey, which the Carno may have ambushed. The Carnotaurus was a swift runner, possibly one of the fastest of the large theropods, reaching speeds of up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. Although its turning radius would have been poor, as the vertebrae of the upper tail around the hips were interlocked with each other and the pelvis. This helped with tail stability, but it meant the hip and tail had to be turned simultaneously, making tight turns very difficult. Only one skeleton of the Carnotaurus has ever been found. It was found by Jose Bonaparte in 1984 in Argentina. The skeleton was well preserved and almost complete. It was also the first theropod dinosaur discovered with comprehensive fossil skin impressions. These impressions show a mosaic of non-overlapping scales. There were also large knob-like bumps running along the sides of the neck, possibly similar to those seen on an iguana, which may have provided limited protection during combat. There is no evidence for feathers on the Carno. Well, that concludes our talk on the Carnotaurus. Thank you for listening, and I hope you found it interesting, and I hope you learned something. Any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for another Dino Talk at Shredder Zoo.